this video, we're going to discuss the Employment Allocation of TIPS Act 2022 that is presently with Parliament. So in this video, we're going to look at what uh, we're going to look at the highlights of this new bill that's being presented to Parliament. And if you're interested in what I'm drinking, take a look at the next video as it's uh, something that I got from a recent trip to Turkey. So this is a Turkish coffee cup. You are served with hot water, coffee and a Turkish delight. The presentation and service was top notch. And to give appreciation, you leave a tip as a reward for the service. And this bill in the UK is to ensure the tip is 100% given to the workers. Firstly, the law will be enforceable by making a claim through the employment tribunal courts, if not complied with. Why the need for this law in this area? Well, currently, a great many employers will retain a part of the tip by deducting 3 to 5% of the tip, meant as a reward for the hard work and good service. The bill will set out how employers deal with tips, gratitudes, and service charges, keeping records for up to three years on how they have been dealt with. Basically, when a customer leaves a tip by way of electronic payment, it is the property of the business, and this bill will ensure that it's properly allocated to all employees, including agency workers. They cannot use the tip gratuities or service charge towards the workers' minimum wage payments. This bill will ensure fairness that the tips customers leave are going to the workers. The employer must provide the workers with a written notice of their policies. This bill will not interfere with current cash tip policies directly paid to the workers. However, the employer must keep records that employees should have access to. If the employee does not have access, the employer must provide access within one week of requesting. Tips must be distributed by an independent person, so I take that to mean that they are not going to benefit themselves when dividing up the tips gratuities, including service charges. The payment must be made no later than the end of the month following the month in which the tip gratuity or service charge was paid by the customer. An example would be if the qualifying tip was paid on the 8th of April, the employer must deal with the tip by the 31st of May. The employer must maintain records of how much each worker received in tips and deduct the tax and national insurance as required. Be mindful that there are time limits on making a complaint to the employment tribunal that are calculated from the date the employer's failure to comply was not complied with. This bill is currently at the report stage, which gives members of Parliament time to consider amendments. You can read this bill in its entirety by going to the link below. MP Virginia Crosby is responsible for sponsoring the bill, and her contacts are also in the link. This new law has more meaning when we consider more and more businesses may require payments by card only, and because it will require a lot of administration on the part of the employer, they may decide to remove a tip allocation when paying, though many restaurants, taxis, hotels, for example, may have an optional service charge that could be as high as 15%. If you are not happy with the service charge, you can ask for it to be removed and ask for a new bill to be printed. You can then calculate a tip that you are happy to add on or leave cash as a tip instead. This new law will ensure 100% goes to the workers. Remember, information is power. Be sure to share this video and why not subscribe free to Legal Mind Friends and watch some of our other videos. If you have a legal worry, contact Legal Mind Friends. See the links below.